Good morning, daily reflections for the 6th of April and uh, as we centre in this week and keep focused on uh, Jesus and the, this really important week of us really focusing on who God is. And yesterday we talked about um, you know, God's, that Jesus had all authority over all things. And so we're going to get to the finish of the first bit of his prayer, which is about his identity. And in verse 3 it says, And this is the way to have eternal life. To know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, the one you sent to earth. I brought glory to you here on earth by completing the works that you gave me to do. Now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. And you know, it's incredible this verse because you know a lot of it we take uh, for granted. But uh, the price that Jesus paid, and we, you know, this week we concentrated on that and how he went to the cross how he suffered all the injustices uh, that, the, that everyone could uh, set on him and here we have some truth truth that if we lived this in our daily life and kept this in mind we would probably not think of so many things that involve us because you know it says here that the that, that this is the way to eternal life you know, no matter what we do on earth there is only one way and that is that um, that we truly know God. We, we truly know the Father's heart. We truly know the Son who He sent, and that that He is the only way that we get to know this Trinity um, that God, you know, that God is Trinity, and that we belong to Him and we are part of His. And, you know, and it says, you know, it's about glory and glory. Actually, in the Hebrew, means weight, weight, you know, weighty. Yeah, you know, this is so important. This is like, you know, the glory is so weighty that of this identity of who, who God is. And uh, you know, when we glorify God, it's a beautiful, weighty thing, and it changes everything. And then you know, and then you see that. Jesus is talking as the Son and saying that he, he you know, being returned back to the glory they shared before the world began. Wow, there's Jesus' identity, all wrapped up in the first five verses of of John 17. And you know, tomorrow we'll look at the uh, what it means. Um, for us as believers, what the disciples, you know, being disciple of Christ is about. And then Jesus switches his prayer now from glorifying God the Father to who he is, his identity, and now he's going to concentrate on why he came. And, uh, and I'm just so looking forward to that. So remember today that we glorify a God who is absolutely immense and beautiful. And uh, if we look at those things, I'm sure that we will see our day in a very different way. So until tomorrow, I'll see you then.